Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Casey and I upload a new video every single week on an unsolved missing person case that hasn't got much attention, maybe hasn't been all over the media and needs to be talked about more. Today's case doesn't have a ton of information to it, so this may end up being a shorter video, but it's still super important to get her face out there so people know about it. Now this takes place in Munjoy Hill, which is a neighborhood on the northeastern tip of Portland, Maine's peninsula, and it seems like a really beautiful and ideal place to live. It has scenic views of Casco Bay. It's close to the water. There are lots of great restaurants and shops and very little traffic from what I understand. It's also relatively safe, even though decades ago it didn't used to be, but now the crime rate is super low. It's actually one of the safest neighborhoods in Portland, and it's very sought after, very up and coming. It's a very hip area to live in. The fact that it is such a safe area is what makes it so strange that someone could just vanish from there with no trace. 63-year-old Kathy Price had lived in Munjoy Hill for years, and she was the type of person that really kept to herself. She was a very quiet, very private woman, and she enjoyed her solitude. She lived alone and did not own a car, so when she did venture out, she was known to walk to the Katie Maid Bakery on Congress Street or a local yarn shop. Both of these shops are very close to her home, less than a mile. And both of these shops were very easy for Kathy to get to, but for the most part, I believe Kathy tended to stay home. Kathy was reported missing by her family in mid-May of 2019, but she hadn't been seen out and about in the neighborhood since April, so about a month before. Now, normally, when there's been a significant amount of time that has gone by before someone is reported missing, we tend to think it's suspicious, right? Or at least I usually do. But in this case, I don't think it's that odd. She wasn't reported missing for weeks, but because Kathy was such a private person and kept to herself, no one really noticed that she was gone. Kathy didn't own a cell phone, so it wouldn't be strange that friends or family weren't receiving texts from her. I'm unsure if she had a landline phone or if anyone had tried to call her. I don't believe she had any social media either. I could be wrong on that. I wasn't able to find any myself, but because she seemed to be so introverted and, you know, private, I assume she didn't. When police checked her home, it was clear that she hadn't been there for weeks, which was alarming since Kathy was usually home. I'm unsure how they knew she hadn't been there, but reports say it was obvious that she hadn't been. Police have searched the Portland area, but have yet to find any sign of her. Kathy didn't have any credit cards that could be tracked, but they did check her bank account and there has not been any activity or transactions since she was last seen. Now, obviously, with her not having a car, cell phone, or credit cards, they can't really track her. They can't ping a cell phone, check credit card transactions, or put a bolo out on a vehicle. We don't know what she did the last day she was seen or even where the last place she went was. So where could she have disappeared to? Was she walking to the bakery or the yarn shop and something happened? Was there an accident or did someone maybe pick her up? Could she have had plans with someone she trusted and this person had ill intentions? It is possible she could have left on her own and just not informed anyone because she was such a private person. I mean, she is an adult. She has every right to go where she wants, whenever she wants, but she would have needed money. And like I said, her bank accounts have not been touched since mid-April of 2019. I have my doubts that Kathy was the type to leave and start a new life, and I also don't think she would be meeting people online. So I personally feel that if something did happen to her or someone did something, it would be someone in the neighborhood who knew her habits maybe, or even someone that was in the neighborhood 
for everything it had to offer, the shops, the restaurants. And when they were there, they happened to see Kathy out walking. I don't know. That's just my thoughts, but her family says it is very uncharacteristic of her to just disappear, and they are extremely worried about her. Kathy is 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighs around 200 pounds. She has gray hair, blue eyes, and wears eyeglasses. She could possibly have been carrying a backpack with her. If you have any information on Kathy's disappearance or her whereabouts, please contact the Portland Police Department at 207-874-8479. There is very little out there about this case and only a few news articles on it, so please share her information and help her family find out what happened. I'm hoping she did take off of her own free will and just didn't bother telling anyone, but it's been almost two years, so you'd think someone would have seen her or heard from her by now. But we have to be hopeful and not give up on finding her. Kathy has to be out there somewhere. People do not just disappear. They don't just vanish into thin air, even though a lot of times it really seems that way. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I upload a new video on a lesser known missing person case every single week. And I mean absolutely no harm in doing so. I am simply trying to spread awareness. I would also highly suggest checking out my entire missing playlist as each case I cover is so important and deserves more exposure. It should be up on the screen right about now. If you have a case suggestion for me, you can send me an email at caseyhudsonyt at gmail.com. I'll put that on the screen as well and it will be linked below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week.